welcome to our channel we already discussed the conversion of finite automata to regular expression by using arden's theorem in this session we will discuss one more example of conversion from finite automata to regular expression before going to conversion first i will give you the arden's theorem just to for remembering purpose arden's theorem what is arden's theorem if an equation is of the form r is equal to q plus rp if it is equation of the form r is equal to q plus rp then the simplified notation r is equal to q into p star this is the arden's theorem okay now first what is the procedure write down the equation for each and every state first to state q1 how do you write the equation simply by considering the state followed by incoming at element so incoming alphabet so q1 is equal to we have an incoming transition from b to q1 so q1 is equal to state q1 with b plus any other is there yes from q2 with a we are moving to q1 so q2a now you got the syntax so simply the incoming transitions for the first two that is initial state we are adding epsilon remember we are adding epsilon only for the initial state this is equation number 1 now we have one more state how many number of states are available write down the equation for each and every state now for q2 what are the incoming transitions from q1 with a so q1 a plus with b again reach to same state self state q2 b so this is my second equation now what you need to get your thing is you need to find out the solution for q1 why q1 because q1 is the final state how do you get the solution to get the solution for q1 you convert this equation in the form of arden's theorem convert this equation in the form of arden's theorem now try to simplify i am considering equation 1 q1 is equal to q1 a plus sorry initially i am taking instead of here qt is available the entire q2 is converted into q1 now what i am doing q2 is equal to q1 a plus q2 b now observe if assume this is r this entire thing is q this is r this is p clear this is in the form of arden statement now what is the simplified equation r is equal to q into that is q1 a into p star that is b star i assumed this is equation 3 now now move to equation 1 q1 is equal to q1 b plus this q2 is replaced with this one now you got it so the entire equation in the same state that is the reason only first i converted in q2 in the form of q1 now what is q2 q1 a b star already here a is available plus epsilon now okay i am changing this equation into like this epsilon plus take the common q1 plus sorry q1 into b plus a b star into a again this is r this is q this is r this is p now what is the equation q1 is equal to q into epsilon b plus a b star a whole star 
So epsilon into anything, that thing only. Finally, what is the answer? Q1. B plus A B star A whole star. Now, final regular expression is B plus A B star A whole star. This is the regular expression for the given finite automata. You got it? Again, I am repeating. Very simple. Understand. First, to write down the equation for each and every state. Here, you need to consider only incoming transition for the initial state add epsilon. In the next step onwards, what you are doing? Your aim is find out the solution to final state. Suppose you have two final states. Find out the solution for each and every final state. And in the results, simply add plus. So, for find out the solution for Q1, I am converting this Q2 into Q1. In each and every state, you are simplifying by using Arden's theorem. This is the final regular expression. Thank you.